for you, sweetheart. Oh, what's this? Proof. Oh, I know you love me, Mum. Proof of my business acumen. You sold your gear. For the grand sum of $475. And this is all I get? Well, you're lucky to get those after being such a doubting Tanya. Posted and sold in a day. You can't have deadlines that tight, can you? No, but I didn't want that stuff in my booth for a whole week. That man that you gave short shrift to uh, about the digger, well, he came back and I showed him how well it was doing my line and he offered me $10 more and the same for the spray out. Oh, Mum. Oopsie. What? What are you going to say to Sidebuster and Clutch Purse? Nothing. I just cancelled the auction. Tough pickies, eh? They're going to be hopping and if they find out that you sold offline... What? Well? It's okay. That sounds so excited. Did you lose a golf or something? No chance, I thrashed him. Dumb move. What, you think I should let my future boss win? Done a big grease. You do need all the help you can get. Uh, does everyone know I crept out an ED? It was hard to miss, so you've got your work cut out for you. I get the message, thanks. But you know, don't need to go slashing your wrists about it, because like I said, you've got me on your side now. I'll get you back up to speed in no time. <laughs> Special needs class A surgery for dummies. Well, if that's your attitude, you can forget it. I don't waste my time with losers. You may as well pack it in now. Maybe. Get over yourself. Okay. You're a crock in ED, but you need to put it behind you. Move on. So everyone keeps saying. Well, you've no choice, really. I'll see you. Wait! 200 bucks and I can give you a key? I might not need it. No idea. So you guys talk at work? Not a lot. You don't have lunch or coffee together? Oh, now and again. Honeymoon over, is it? Not quite. But it happens, doesn't it? You're madly in love, so excited about being with him, thinking about him all the time that you're not. But then you don't think about him so much. And sometimes when he turns up, you think, ugh, did he have to? That's what it was like for me and Etty. But it's not like that for you and Dad, is it? <laughs> Definitely not. Good. Yeah, I'm lucky that you don't mind having me around. Oh, I liked you almost straight off. I suppose that that hasn't always happened. What? You know, that you've liked all of your dad's girlfriends. <laughs> How many do you think there's been? Well, I don't know. Craig and I haven't talked too much about our past. I know my dad hasn't, because there's nothing to tell. I doubt that very much. Well, nothing like you. I mean, he went on dates and I suppose they got up to stuff. But he's never brought anyone home. Well, hardly ever. Also, I'm the first woman he's lived with since your mum. Yeah. Dad was super protective about me and Jake. We always came first. But I think also he didn't want to get hurt like Mum hurt him. So like, maybe we were like an excuse not to get involved with anybody. But then you came along and something happened I never thought would. He fell in love. Didn't he? Didn't he? Yes. <laughs> Well, floor's yours. You need your own time. <sighs> okay, I let myself down. And I let you guys down too, and that makes me feel super small. And it's worth knowing how much you guys try to get me to step up. Look, I don't see the point in rehashing all of this. The, the bottom line is that you're not cut out to be an ED doctor. Well, you're not cut out to be a golfer. I don't see what that's got to do with this. That doesn't stop you from trying, does it? I mean, you're prepared to put in the hard yards? Me too now. So, what are you saying? I'm asking you to give me another chance. In ED? I was starting to get there, right? I mean, can we just forget about Pearl? Not that I'm ever going to, but... You know, I was starting to handle the pressure. I was more focused, thorough, decisive, because I started to care. You know, I didn't before, but you two made me. Too little, too late, I know, but... No, I could either walk away or come back and have a real crack at it. Just give me the chance to prove to you that I can do it, to fix the mess that I made. Please.